our main story now. ESCO managed to keep the lights on for the weekend, but as businesses and schools reopen this week, the threat of power cuts looms large. Professor Hartmut Winkler uh, believes it could take five years before the power utility recovers. Jane, you have the professor with you. I do indeed. Very good morning to you. Five years. Why so long? Well, uh, we're dealing with a very old fleet of coal power stations which are providing the backbone to the South African electricity system at the moment. And since they are old, just like an old car, you, you start, they start breaking down. And once the breakdowns happen, these tend to happen more and more frequently. And in essence, what could happen in the next five years, we hope, and that's certainly according to the government plan, is that on the one hand, the new Medupi and Kusile power stations uh, should be finished. We don't know if they will be because they've been delayed enormously and there are still massive problems, even though they are new. And the second thing that could happen is that in that time, you could add a considerable amount of, of solar and wind power uh, to the system. Typically, to build a new solar power station or, or, or a wind power station, uh, you would need uh, about two years. And according to the plan, uh, uh, the government uh, has endorsed, and uh, uh, this, this should happen on an annual basis that we add about 2 to 2.5 uh, gigawatts of, uh, of uh, renewable energy to the system. But and that you think the system. desire and the push is there to get that to happen in a shorter time that, frame than five years? That's what I'm a bit worried. Even though it is now government policy, it is even ANC policy. This is what uh, renewable expansion is part of the, the manifesto. I don't really see this as much happening as quickly as it should be or with the urgency it's happening, uh, especially in the current uh, Ministry of, of Mining and, and Energy. I don't know why that is. There is certainly this element that uh, there is a political alliance, there is a, 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 a government which is under st uh, stress uh, internally as well. It may be a case of trying to keep everybody on board, but at the moment this is not really helping anyone. And uh, I don't see uh, going uh, renewables, the renewables way, and we're not talking about everything uh, turning off uh, coal power stations overnight or so. This is not going to happen. Coal power stations are going to be around with us for, for, for 20 years or more. Uh, but we need to start now uh, to actually change the system. And I don't really see this happening. There's talk of a national blackout. Mm -hmm. What will lead us there? What, what needs to be done to avert that? Okay, essentially a national blackout would happen once you start getting to uh, load shedding stage eight or so, even, even a little bit further than that. So. The closest we've come to that at the moment is uh, stage six load shedding. And part of the reason why we had stage six load shedding was also because uh, it was during the December period. That is a period when there's traditionally less power demand. So uh, Eskom tends to use that for, for their maintenance work. So uh, a whole lot of units, including one of the Kuberg nuclear units, was actually switched off, even though there was nothing uh, uh, wrong with it. Uh, but now, of course, now from today, uh, the, the, the country opens for business again, effectively. And uh, so the demand is going to go up. So it's certainly true that while they're saying at the moment they're not expecting load shedding, that's fine. It means that they haven't had any unforeseen breakdowns. But uh, yeah, so I was going to ask yeah. you about that because obviously the predictions that we are given are often wrong for a multitude yes. of reasons. Yes. You wonder what gives them that confidence for even just today. Well, if, well, they can't. I mean, within an hour, we might have some announcement of some major breakdown somewhere or other, and then we uh, uh, off to load shedding too. That, that could always happen. That's also why, I, if anybody made a promise that the lights were going to be kept on over the uh, December holiday season, that's certainly not a promise I would ever make, uh, because it, it just means that you're not expecting something to happen. It doesn't mean that nothing is going to happen. So Things the focus now, down. maintenance. Maintenance, uh, it, maintenance. It, sh it should be, yes, it should be uh, according to... A particular plan and there are backlogs in that there are even some people who are arguing that that Eskom should not worry too much about the public or the government oh. but should actually be <laughs> be uh, uh, implementing slightly more load shedding than they would otherwise just so that they can keep some of their power stations uh, closed for maintenance you say that uh, solar power there's not much of a, a desire to push all alternative energy sources what should those in that sector be doing to make sure that they do step in and fill the gaps well all that's really needed at this stage is that according to the, uh, 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 to the integrated resource plan, which uh, I say has been adopted, is that uh, you now need to start uh, setting up the process for procuring roughly 2.5 uh, gigawatts of, of uh, wind and, and, and solar power 
uh, to come online in 2022. No, I mean, that's according to the plan. As I say, it takes about two years to get this started, so, so now would be as a time to get going. There's nothing also, the other thing is that this plan is supposed to be a living document, so it's supposed to be updated every two years. Now, the last time, okay, luckily we, this didn't happen last year, but before that, the last time it, 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 an integrated plan was actually approved and went through everything was in 2011. And uh, the reason that took so long is because certain people wanted nuclear to be part of it, and that just was never, uh, but the, the people who actually did the calculation said, no, that will work out to a more expensive uh, option. So uh, because of uh, political interference, basically, uh, the national planning was, uh, did not uh, move forward. It only happened last year, largely thanks to, to Minister Khadebe, who, who at that stage uh, did uh, do what was required. And uh, okay, Minister Mantasha did eventually publish uh, uh, that document. But now it's a case of just implementing what everybody's agreed is, should be the case and also start a new round because this plan must change. And maybe the next time the plan, uh, a new plan comes out, which should happen as soon as next year, they might be telling us, okay, do this different or do more of this or do less of that. But yeah. that process also needs to uh, be kept going. And as you say, keep politics out of it and get the job done. Hartmut yes. Winkler, thank you very much.